Disclaimer, this video may contain content that might not be suitable for children. Parental guidance is advised. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Sky of Five Complete. Uh, yeah. So, last time we actually, I explained like a bunch of stuff like the equipment, evil tees, status, how it look, etc, etc. Let's fix you up. Well, this episode, hopefully, because uh, even I'm not 100% sure that there won't be all the tutorials, because uh, there might be some stuff that I actually missed that the game will explain. But for now, uh, this should be fine because uh, I do remember you don't unlock the uh, Dark Assembly until uh, episode 2. And I will explain episode 2. <coughs> I will explain that in episode 2 uh, when uh, we start episode 2. Like so for you? now, let's just finish uh, episode 1. Black Parch. <laughs> so these are the remnants of Blood Parch. That voice doesn't fit that guy. You actually hear the Japanese voice. This guy, uh, uh, this guy, an imp. He has a really scratchy voice. <laughs> Even though it's what Sir Void Dark ordered, fighting all these pieces of crap is dulling my skills. Okay, why does he sound different this time? That's so weird. <laughs> then, can I take you guys on? Okay, now. That that was Kilia earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there are still some who seek to oppose Demon Emperor Void Dark's elite forces. Okay, now this is more fitting because he now sounds like a dumb brute. Uh. The Japanese version, he, uh, the imp sounds like an underling because he has a screechy, scratchy voice. It's like, oh, sure, sure thing, boss. But yeah, this guy, he sounds like a dumb brute, which is fitting because imps are jerks. Give you a choice. Obey us or die. Why? Why? Why do you keep changing your voice? <laughs> I refuse to do both. <laughs> what? mistaken if you thought all demons would grovel at your feet, lost cretin. Why do you keep changing voice? There's only one ip there. So why does his voice keep changing? That's so weird. As a matter of fact, you are the ones who will be groveling. All men are destined to serve the overlord of gorgeous, Serafina. Uh-huh. Okay. Since we're past the tutorials, mostly, this will be the first, excuse me, real battle. And it's Let's easy go. as heck because, you know, it's our first battle, it's not a boss. So basically, utilize everything that you have. See ya. I could have me go kill the imp right now, but instead, yeah, dude. I'm gonna have to pring. <sighs> Do this. What's up, dude? And fire. Oh, uh, I didn't mention this before, but uh, I will show you all the battles for the regular, you know, the mandatory stages, story stages. So uh, don't worry, you can use this as a guide to uh, if you are playing along or you are just looking for a walkthrough, etc., etc. I played this game a lot. Uh, but I, I, I'm not an expert in it. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert in it. I cannot beat Ball, Demon, uh, Demon Lord ball, ball. So don't expect me to actually uh, do everything uh, in this game because uh, I will not. Oh, that's just, just, okay. Second that. I got a better idea. Here, take out Rico. What's up, dude? Here we go. Uh, you might want to kill the healer first. Always kill the healer first because they are sometimes, uh, especially late in the game, because they can be a pain in the ass. Okay. Thank you. 
Mastery up, triple strike, learn. See <laughs> and done. Orkanita. 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 Oh no! Also, enemies can also gain EXP. Unlike most RPGs, yeah. So be careful. Try burst. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention: guns. Guns do less damage the further you are. Uh, but the 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 decrease is uh barely noticeable. So don't worry about it too much. Can move? Nope. Actually, yeah, <laughs> dude. And fine. Another thing to actually uh, uh no, uh, I'm not gonna actually spend too much time talking about this. But uh, depending on the directions you're actually attacking the enemy, uh, you actually do more damage. So you actually attack from the back, you do more damage than uh. You Attack from the side. Likewise, if you do attack from the side, you do more damage uh, than you attack from the front. So always try to attack enemies from uh, uh, anywhere other than the front. Uh, you also do more damage if you are on a high ele uh, elevation. So say you're on top of, you're here, and you do uh, attack uh, attack this orc from the side. You do more damage. If you were to attack from the front, or uh, you actually attack on the same level. You okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know I said there won't be any tutorials, but uh, I think you can let this slide since I'm actually doing some gameplay. Impossible. We, the lost, were defeated. Who are you? I want to know. Rather than you asking who we are, I want to know why your voice keeps changing. Red Magnus, the overlord who has a bounty on his head. Please stop. Quick, we have to call for reinforcements immediately. See, first he actually has a, a confident. Red Magnus, you mistook me for someone else. Uh, no, not confident. He has a smooth, uh, smooth uh, voice, smooth baritone voice. Then suddenly he sounds like a dumb brute. I know this uh, the imp uh, in the Japanese version. He's uh, he's a bully, he's a bully type character. Uh, but this doesn't sound like a bully. It sounds more like a, a like he's just switching personalities. D did they say Red Magnus? Do you know him or something? Yes, I do. Just thinking about him is giving me a headache. Red Magnus is the Overlord of Scorching Flame, known and feared for being violence incarnate. Okay, that's a lie because uh, while he does enjoy fighting, he, well, he does like, uh, yeah, he does enjoy fighting. He is not violent. In fact, he's like the s second least violent char uh, character, the main character in the entire story. He is boorish, has absolutely zero tact, and has less intelligence than an orc. In fact, he's got the brain of a monkey. Okay, that is correct. That part. Uh, is correct. <laughs> you must really hate that guy. I do. The netherworlds of Scorching Flame and Gorgeous have been at each other's throats since my seven times great grandfather's time. I have never had a pleasant experience whenever Red Magnus has gotten involved. I don't want to ever see that man again. But I have a bad feeling. Are you gonna see that man again? Yep. Okay, go back. Let's fix you up. Now you notice that Nico has died. And now she's not. And I'm sorry. You and Red Magnus seem to be on back terms. What kind of guy is he? To sum it up in one word, it's muscle head. That's accurate. That's pretty broad. I haven't seen him in a while, but whenever that monkey gets involved in something, it always goes downhill. If possible, I would never like to see him again. You're that prejudiced against him? He seems kind of interesting to me. Other than being a musclehead, does he have any interesting characteristics? Let me see. 
He's 1.5 times as tall as you, Sir Kilia, and with all his muscles, he weighs 4 times as much as you. His messy hair looks like a burning flame, he has an impressive looking horn, and always has a cocky expression on his face. I see. There. It is done. Huh? What's that? Here it is. Uh, the snipples. Ah, uh, I hate the snipples. What? Uh, wait, uh, what? It's a sketch of the Rip Magnus guy. I drew a baseline description. He has never mentioned that he has red skin. I don't know if in the Japanese, uh, in the Japanese uh, version, he actually mentioned that, but who knows? What a unique trying. I'm not sure if I should call it a very guard or revolution. Revolution. Revolutionary. Oh. Huh? I am not a trained voice actor. Let's find out. Oh wait, this. Oh, you can't change it here. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna exit game just to show me that. Okay. Uh, what else is there to actually look at? Uh, yeah, there isn't much. You can actually look at this signboard and it says, There's a ripped piece of paper. Discover Achilles are a weakness. Reward 1 million sardines. <laughs> yeah, you can actually check uh, a bunch of random areas in this game. Like, you can actually check the spaceship. Neuro re research ship, Lazarus. A ship of dreams that can overcome any disaster. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Where would you like to go, dude? I seem to be forgetting something. Ah well, it can't be that important. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, evil teas. Uh, I've already uh, explained this, so don't worry about it. Uh -huh. Blah 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 blah. I could just press triangle, but uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, yeah, evil tees. Uh, Orcs evil tees is increased stats by allied units with two panels by five percent. So that means any ally that's at least two uh, that's two panels within, they will actually gain a stat. But uh, since this is three panels, most of these orcs aren't going to gain. Valkyrie, on the other hand, will increase damage by the amount of panels she moves. So let's say since she has a panel of four, if she will move four steps she will gain 40% more damage. The Imp has bullying, which deals more damage to uh, enemy units, uh, lower enemy units by 30%. Uh, yeah. Like I said, these guys are bullies. Not to worry. Ugh. This is bloody... Ugh. Okay. I can't deal any damage from here, so... I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat you, dude. Okay, done. Let's go. Huh. Uh, move Seraphina uh, here. Oh shoot. Okay, fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Notice I'm not using my. Uh, I'm not dispatching my healer. Cause uh, I don't See really need to anymore. Huh. Oh yes. Level up! Cool. Yeah, I don't need to at the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll actually do it later. Let's go! Uh, Cause there's a better way to actually level up healers. So, don't need to worry. Okay, I'm gonna actually... Yeah. Toss! Uh, oh, uh, if you actually attack with a bow, I forgot to mention this, if you attack with a bow, uh, there's a chance that it will drop, uh, the enemy will drop a treasure chest. So try to do that. Ah, what you just saw was a counter attack. As you can see, because uh, Nico attacked that Valkyrie, uh, uh, she got a counter attack, and, and the re main reason is because Nico—I uh, mean the Valkyrie—did not 
attack in the previous turn. Ooh, revenge! Yes! Okay, what revenge does? Revenge. Actually, I, uh, I want to get closer. Revenge uh, allows you to deal more damage. Actually, this will be explained in the, uh, in the next battle, but I'll explain it now because uh, since we're, we have the chance. Uh, what revenge does is that it increases uh, the amount of damage you deal to enemies. Uh, I think it also increases your stats, and uh, any debuffs you, uh, you incur will be nullified. And you can also use the overload, which I mentioned in the previous video. Failure gaze. Now, these enemies are charm. What charm does is that it causes the enemies to uh, be your ally. You can still attack them, so don't worry about it. And also, one thing to note, even if you use an overload, you can still move, you can still attack, etc. So it's basically a special extra action. So uh, yeah, don't worry, use it as often as you want, when you can, uh, as you get the chance. Uh, but you can only use an overload once per battle, so uh, be aware of that. And, uh, actually, no. I'm gonna use it as often as possible. As you saw earlier, the charm enemy didn't actually bother attacking any of us because he's, he's considered our ally, but we can't control him. So he will instead attack his allies. But since we actually killed the majority of them, uh, yeah. Let's fix you up. Ah! I hate it. I hate sniffles. I think I caught a cold or something. I don't know. Right oh, uh, I'm serving men of Therafina. I'm still enough as me, but please allow me to work with my co worker without troubling them. By the way, what should I do with these broken plates? Note that anybody called uh, Serafina's servant are uh, actually NPCs. Uh, you, know, you can tell that because they're level 10, but later on, uh, yeah, you'll be at a level, higher level, and uh, you can tell that which are your creator characters and which are uh, in uh, in game. Uh, I mean, the base NPCs. Welcome. Oh, yeah, items. There's these ah stealing hands. Yes, very important. Therefore, thieves they can actually uh, thieves can use these to actually steal stuff. Actually, anybody can use these to steal stuff, but thieves have a higher uh, chance of doing so. And then there's destroying the item. I never actually used the attack items. Where would you like to go, dude? So, uh, I don't think I'm planning on starting anytime soon. Actually, I should do that. I should do that just to see what it's like. I've never actually used it. You don't even think that you can oppose the lost without suffering the consequences. Okay, this fits. The imp doesn't. Either you obey the lost or you die. Are you prepared? I choose neither. <laughs> Don't make me laugh! Red Magnus challenges you lost jabronis to a fight! Just bring it! That guy. That's right, Magnus. Why? So my bad feelings proved to be true. Yes, Sir Kilia, that monkey is indeed Red Magnus. As always, he is nothing but a muscle head. I bet his brain is made of stone golems. Were there golems in this game? Uh, I, I know there are wood golems. No stone golems, though. <laughs> I'll give you one last chance. Obey or die. Neither. Shut your mouth! If you're not gonna come to Red Magnus, then Red Magnus will super go to you! Ooh. <laughs> you jabronis are pathetic! 
Your law superiors would be shocked if they found out. Tuh. You couldn't possibly be Reg Magnus's real opponent. Now hurry up and fetch your bastard of a boss, Boy Dark. Notice how I'm not talking much? It's because there isn't much to comment on these. <laughs> He's like a vicious dog. No. Just a moron. As you can see. Ha! This guy's full of fighting spirit! You uh, must be Boy Dark. Or not. See? Yeah, he's an idiot. Which means <laughs> the demon general of the lost is finally making his entrance. Does he look like a general? Oh, okay, wait. This monkey! Does he truly not recognize me? Nope. Hmm. For the overlord of Scorching Flame, Red Magnus. Looks pretty tough. And he's eating ramen. Eating again? It's ramen. Ramen's it's good. It's endangered pork ramen, made mm. with megaton pork and a broth made of chimera beef and great king whalebone. Oh, that actually sounds good. Oh, it's making my wild mouth water. I never actually had whale. Uh, apparently, it's uh, in the past, uh, whale meat was uh, standard. Uh, it was actually uh, easy to come by, but that's only in the past. Not so sure now, and well, whales are endangered species to begin with, so uh, you're not gonna actually uh, come across whale meat that often. But I would like to try it someday. Oh no, he wants to eat whale meat. Uh, he's trying to actually ruin the ecosystem. You, you got guts eating a meal right before going one on one with the supreme one. Look, just because you want to try something doesn't mean that you actually will. Okay, not to mention trying. Uh, if you uh, if it's in the market, if you come across it, it will be. Uh, more sinful if I can use the term I can't use it. I don't know what other word, term I can use it will be it will be worse yes it will be worse sinful either way if you actually don't eat it because you just let a whale die for no reason at the very least you're like the lining you're actually uh, perpetuating the circle of life the whale died yes so if the meat, you come across the meat, you should eat it because it actually died. Uh, it actually died, so that you can continue to live. If that makes sense, that should make sense. I mean, come on. Then the Overlord of Scorching Flame, Red Magnus, will super feed you the highest quality fire. Uh, I don't think he's a dragon. Oh wait, no, he he is a dragon. I don't think he's fired up. Oh, so does that mean that when your par grandparents die or when your parents die, you're gonna just leave them? That would be cannibalism. Oh, so does that mean that you're gonna actually feed the lions and stuff? What is wrong with you? No, my business is with Void Dark. Pick a fight with that piece of monkey crap or something? Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> Is that so? Red Magnus never imagined someone else besides the Supreme One would ever do that. You don't do things like those. You don't feed your uh, your dead kin to animals because. Not only is it unethical to actually do unethical to actually do that, but uh, they're not animals. There's a difference between levels. Oh, but animals are people too. Look, I get it. You love animals. That's fine. But cut me some slack. It's about eating will. I just. It's, come on. It's not like I'm doing now, it's not like I'm saying, Hey guys, uh, I want you to go hunt a whale and then bring me the, uh, the meat. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if I ever have a chance, 
I would like to try. That's all. So if there isn't a chance, there isn't a chance. That's it. Life goes on. I'm not gonna die for not being able to eat whale meat. All right. It's the same as a person is not gonna die if they uh, don't get to uh, have the high score in uh, Puyo Puyo whatever. That makes us allies. I don't know why I'm actually talking about this. I think we're gonna have to cut it. <laughs> face each other on the battlefield. Can't stop the fight. No, I don't mind stopping. Whoa, whoa, are you serious? Red Magnus would be super happy to fight with a strong guy like you. Uh. <laughs> I see. You've got good taste. <laughs> so you agree? Red Magnus is super excited. So? Let's fight! What the? Overload skill, Super Olympia. It's a super ability that doubles my size and power and overwhelms all my enemies. Uh, I apologize for digressing there. It's just that just some so people you are know, annoying. The time like that. Limit runs out, Red like me. Magnus will return to normal size and will be a little sore. Wow, that's just that's lame. I think that's a shout out to something. I, I I can't remember what. Kyria, what's that gigantic thing, dude? Like I said, that's the over overload. <laughs> uh, I saw matters of the overlord Logan use them, but I'm still not quite sure what they are, dude. All right, let me explain them. To you. Uh, revenge mode overload. First, you got blah blah blah. That's revenge. You got to fill out your revenge gauge. Uh, yeah, I already I stated that. I already mentioned that. I explained that already in the previous uh, about the revenge gauge in the previous uh, previous episode. Okay, but I didn't really fully explain this. To fill out the gauge, you and your ally, you and your or your allies take damage. Choose your allies to defeat it. That's why uh, everyone went in revenge mode when uh, Nico uh, died. You, three, you defeat an enemy that is in revenge mode. Uh, so, yeah, so having enemies in revenge mode is a good chance for us to fill up your uh, revenge gauge and to revenge mode, dude. No, you're catching on. That's right. So when you're in revenge mode, you get the following benefits. Your critical rate becomes 100%, your SP cost for all skills both 1, and reduce damage taken by 25%. That's the ones that I wanted to mention. I forgot about that. Now, when enemies... Uh, when you defeat an enemy in revenge mode, your revenge gauge also increases. And if you defeat an enemy in revenge mode, you get a power fragment. What are power fragments? Uh, yeah, they are items that increase the stats of whoever uses it. So it's worth it to defeat enemies in revenge mode. Now, overlords will be able to use the skill, they're overlords. Seraphina has overload, Great Mattis has an overload. It's, uh, yeah, he just turns bigger. He becomes giant. He gains the status giant. He won't be able to use weapons, and he can only use sp uh, certain skills. Uh, yeah, since Kiliad is not an overlord, he won't have an overlord. So, yeah. Uh, you cannot choose when to go in revenge mode, though, so uh, be uh, wary of that. But other than that, yeah. Uh, this is right, Magnus abilities, so don't worry about this too much. This quick. Now, you notice, Rank Magnus is not ha doesn't have the same uh, type of HP bar as the enemies. This is uh, uh, a yellow, greenish yellow, and all well, the enemies are red. This is because he's an ally, he's neutral, he's a neutral ally, which means he will go attack the enemies but won't go for you. However, he won't care uh, about, uh, about your units. So he he will still attack. He he would just attack the enemies, but and he will ignore you. But uh, because you are just second priority. Uh, I'm not sure how to actually fully explain that, but yeah, that's that's about it. I'm doing this. However. 
great. <laughs> However, we do want the XP. So, what we want to do is okay. We're just okay. That's it. There, that was that was counter attack. Now notice that defense now, that's because Break Magnus is actually equipped with an axe. So, oh my goodness. Okay, this might be a little bit harder than I thought. So what you actually want to do is actually kill him so they can get extra EXP because neutral enemies give uh, the same amount of EXP as enemies but uh, since uh, I'm not going to actually do that because that's not really necessary, uh, I can just level up my own pace. Now. I'm gonna explain a bit something special about uh, this, uh about specials. Uh, each uh, each weapon types have uh, specials and they have unique properties. For fist types, when you attack an enemy, uh, you actually move them. You cannot do that to Rick Magnus and Mormon, however, because he's oh you actually can. Cool. Did not know that. But yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, fist types uh, weapons actually move the enemies. Spears. Actually, I can do that. Spears. Uh, spears move the characters. Uh, swords uh, and guns don't actually have anything. Uh, neither do bows. Uh, actually, most. Okay, what? Okay, that's the first that it actually happens. This is the first. I'll, I'll be honest. This is the first time that this actually happened to me. I am going to get my revenge on this guy. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I will. I'm doing this. Right there. Yeah. Now, one thing you can actually do. Is this yeah, continuous troll? Huh. And she leave it to me. Let me thank you. Ta-da! And she's levels up. Yeah, healers level up by actually healing their allies. So. <laughs> don't kill him! Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Revenge, son of a bitch! You lose. Let me thank you. Oh, he's not dead. Let's fix that. I'm gonna eat you, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, dude. Sup, dude. Please go. Oh shit! No, dude, dude. Oh no. He died. Kill the priest. Kill him. <gasps> yeah, go pretty. And he level up. Yeah, that never actually happened. This is the first time I actually saw him attacking, uh, attacking me. But yeah, now that we got revenge, that's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Screw you, Rick Magnus. <laughs> You're good. Just as Red Magnus expected. Up yours. But don't think you've tasted Red Magnus as full power. The real fun super starts now. Stop right there. No matter how hard a muscle-brained monkey tries, they would never be able to defeat my Sir Kilia. What did you say you've been? You bitch! Wait, you're... 
Did you just notice? Yes, I am the Rathlesia that blooms on the battlefield, the overlord of gorgeous, Sarah. She just called herself stinky. Yeah, yeah! You are the shrew princess of gorgeous! Tuh, <laughs> accurate. I am certainly not a shrew princess. I am now the overlord of gorgeous. Address me as Madam Overlord Seraphina. Yeah, she just called herself stinky. Rathlesia is actually a big giant flower that stinks yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's right. Sarah something. I just super remembered right now. So, what are you doing here? That is my question for you. What is the overlord of Scorching Flame doing here? And why are you fighting alone? Well, you know, the Supreme One just needed to release some stress, so he was having some fun with the Lost. Uh huh. What's with that look? Got something you wanna say? Oh, there's something that looks like a ruffles set, ruff, ruffles, yeah, at the back, in the background. Yeah, she basically called herself that. Your fighting style. It looks like you're exerting your inner rage. Inner rage? Stop talking super nonsense. Okay, how about hyper nonsense? Or super Fine. duper nonsense? I guess I was mistaken. Sorry about that. And that line made me look like a complete what, idiot. The red hell? You're a demon, but you're apologizing? Weird. Well, as long as you understand, it's fine. Just so you know, demons. Oh, that's the gist of it. Let's get going. Demons in the disguise series are not actually evil. Well, they are evil uh, demons. Uh, not all of them are evil. Uh, some of them are just uh, pranksters at worst. Picking a fight with Boy Dark too? Red Magnus certainly is. So let's go together and have super fun. That's why you have character uh, demons actually talk a lot. I welcome et any man who will be an asset in battle, but I refuse tactless monkeys. Now go back to your mountain. Shoo, shoo. What? Who cares? It's not like it's gonna cost you anything. Red Magnus says let's go together. Do whatever you please. Wait, Sir Kilia, I just said that I'm opposed to that idea. I don't think Kilia is stronger than Red Magnus, yet he doesn't even All look right, it. Alright, then it's settled. Now, let's turn it up. You're in the presence of Red Magnus. Soon, I'll beat down Voidark and become the strongest overlord. Nice to super meet ya. Doubt. <laughs> Down. Ugh, those two have some nerve ignoring my opinion. Well, it's fine. It's only until Void Dark is murdered, so I suppose I'll forgive them. If anybody who played the previous game you know that uh, Rick Madness will have some, has quite a bunch of competition. And uh, here's the here's the thing. Those two will simply end up working for me. Uh, this is not actually a spoiler, so I'll just say it. Person. What is with his ridiculous magic potential? Uh, this guy five is uh is has been implied to be a prequel. A prequel to everything, the uh, the, the entire uh this guy multiverse. He could be very dangerous, which could make him very useful. So, uh, and the main reason for that is because, well, Void Dark has taken over ha ha half of the Nether Worlds. Half! And that's a very big number. Among them is Overlord Zeta. Those who play Makai Kingdom know, will know According who to uh, Overlord Zeta is. Void Dark had taken over or destroyed over 30% of the entire Nether Worlds. 30%, uh, not half. The furious God, Anguish Illusion, Miserable Corpse, or any of the other Nether Worlds that were hanging on by a thread. Had fallen. Over half of the entire netherworlds would have been under his control. See? On Over the half. Hand, Roaring Rampant, Brutal Beast, Dragon Fang, and the other giant netherworlds hadn't yet fallen. Those who were expecting the giant netherworlds to offer resistance against the Demon Emperor finally saw a ray of hope. 
of course it could be that they are giant nether worlds but uh that would be difficult because we have overlord xana overlord zeta i'm seraphina i'm a temptress who wallows in riches and fame throughout the entire universe all men in this universe belong to me now kneel before me i'm not clicking anything by the way this is auto auto scroll ah oh, my lovely seraphina i will not allow anyone else to have you please marry me Who's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on for one minute! Sarah is mine! Red Magnus won't let anyone else super have her! She wouldn't be blushing. Who's that? She hates him! Next time on Seraphina's <laughs> Story, Episode 2, Because of Love. Tonight, you will be fallen in love. Do you need your heads examined? Why are you including the air too? <laughs> yeah, I actually tried recording this before, but uh, I messed up, so I'm gonna do it again. Okay, uh, as I was saying, uh, the other, the uh, the pre, uh, this guy five is considered uh, a prequel to the entire Disguise series, uh, as well as Makai Kingdom, Phantom Brave, anything that's uh, set in the Disguise universe, because. Void Dark has taken over or destroyed half of the nether world. Uh, 30% it stays, but it, it, it seems that uh, half the nether worlds have fallen, which would mean, which would imply that uh, a character uh, really super powerhouse like uh, Overlord Zeta, Overlord Xanon, Lahal, uh, um, who who else? Uh, Pram, Salome, uh, e even King Babylon. Those guys are really really strong, and yet they're not doing anything to stop Void Dark. So that would imply that they either uh, either they haven't been born yet, or they are part of the giant nether worlds. But uh, if you actually play through the game, you see that giant nether worlds are just literally giant nether worlds. So no, this is not big name nether worlds. It's literally giant nether worlds. So that would mean that the characters that uh, in the previous uh, Disguise games haven't actually been born yet. So characters like Lahal, uh, uh, Overlord Xanon, Zeta, they probably haven't been born yet. So that would be the reason why Void Dark managed to cause so much problems. Alternatively, this whole thing is actually done, uh, dealt with in a day according to the intro, so it's possible that uh, Void Dark uh, has not actually extended his reach far enough to cause them to interfere. However, Celestia is also interfering. And there's a reason, and Celestia's involvement is ultimately the reason why this is considered prequel. You actually learn why as you uh, uh, go through the story. Uh, I won't actually spoil it. Whoa, so what's with all the screaming? What happened? Uh, I'll actually. Uh, I'll, it's not really a super spoiler, but you will actually f find out eventually. Uh, that proof is a defining evidence of why this is considered a prequel. Now is no time to be calm, Sir Killia. This is an Excuse emergency. Me for that. Still have sneakers. Are we under attack from the lost? No. Of all things, that monkey put his underwear in with my laundry! His briefs came in contact with... Is that all? What a stupid reason. It is not stupid! That brute has tainted my purity! Hey, Sarah! <laughs> Who are you calling Sarah? Don't you dare give me a nickname! But your name is too long! Sarah is fine, right, Sarah? By the way, where'd you hang my underwear to dry? I sent them down the road to Hades. What does that mean? It means she threw your underwear away. Duh. Huh? She did what? But the tiger print was my favorite, and not to mention my only good pair of underwear. He has absolutely zero tact. Just the idea of that man being in my vicinity is enough to disturb my peace of mind. 
I would overcharge him for rent, but that idiot doesn't even have a single hell to his name. And he's supposed to be an overlord? Maybe I should cut off his head and claim the reward. As a reward for Rick Magnus? They're all so noisy. Allies? You never learn, do you? No. They're not my allies, and I don't need any allies. Sure, you say that, but here you are with them. You're a blood-soaked renegade out for revenge. Allies don't suit you. Or did you forget what happened? <laughs> his, his clothes are actually his scales. You actually I'll notice. Forget. Vengeance is the only thing that keeps me going. Right. You don't have anything to protect anymore. I really question how it works. Let anger saturate every fiber of your being. Release me and destroy everything. <laughs> Episode 2 Demon General. Where are they? Have they been found yet? Seriously, if the alternative is that this entire thing took uh, took place in the span of a day, then this is the shortest war ever. Because it literally took a day to end. It took a day to start and it took a day to end. Your Excellency, rebels have appeared in the frontier of Blood Parch. The main squad that was stationed there has been completely wiped out. You travel fast. Your Excellency? As his 83rd secretary, I shall be assisting Lord Void Dark. I am Count Erinyedi. You do know- By the way, according to Phantom Brave and Disguise 4, God is a mushroom. That's right, what you're seeing right there is a form of God. I still don't know whether God is actually a mushroom or not because uh, Phantom Brave had, uh, spoilers for Phantom Brave if you actually haven't played it uh, if you actually play We Meet Again the, you, there's an alternate story and it shows that uh, God is nothing more than a fake and uh, in Disguise 4 spoilers again uh, the avatars of God are, actually, uh, are implied to be fake as well because uh, throughout the entire uh, in the first three games, uh, while God has not made an appearance, uh, he has not interfered with anything. Excuse me. So uh, it's doubtful that, if, uh, and not to mention the existence of Gig, uh, makes it makes it put us into doubt if there, uh, whether you know the top the, uh, the top God is uh, is actually doing anything. I'm so I am not worthy and mightily frightened. I shall be speaking on behalf of the great Lord Void Dark Gim. Well, at least he's not, uh, he's not missing words. I wonder who the first <laughs> you secretary you have is. important information to report, so I made time for you. But is that all you've got, Gim? No, um... Do you think a dragon would care one bit about what ants may do, Gim? If you know they're rebels, then why don't you go kill them, Gee? Is there a reason you're wasting our time with this? Or did you want to accept responsibility for the weak squad that was destroyed? Is that what this is about, Gee? What? Wow. No, that's not... Oh. Ah! Ooh! Wow. Worthless. The mushroom was actually right. Lord Void Dark, we have taken control of the netherworlds of Furious God, Anguish Illusion, and Miserable Corpse, as scheduled. Man, those are real netherworldly names. Anguish Illusion. Ah, Ooh. As expected of Demon General Bloodis. Demon Emperor Void Dark will surely be satisfied with your work, Gee. 
60% of all netherworlds are now in the hands of Lord Void Dark. We just need to suck in the surrounding netherworlds too, Gee. Okay, now it's 60%. He got 60%. So, yeah. Another reason why this is considered a prequel. Understood. Gilead, you can use the skill shop now, do. Thank you for waiting. I'm happy to announce that skill shop is now open. There are efficient functions here that will help you progress through battle smooth. So please come quick. Whew, my hips hurt from cleaning, dude. Oh, Gilead, the initial shop is now uh, now open. Thank you for helping me, Pretty. Thanks to you, we were able to clean up the initial shop really fast. Just come see the cute innocents. Everyone, let's play together. By the way, since we got rid of the Lost Army blood parts, where are we going next? We don't have any information right now. I'd like to get information about Void Dart's whereabouts. Don't worry, the priests are searching for it. I think they'll return soon with some information. We should talk to the citizens of the park in the netherworld to gather information about the loss. Okay. Uh, I would actually could uh, talk to her and her and then uh, continue the story, but uh, we're out of time for this episode. So, I shouldn't have actually remembered on, I should have remembered on while, while we're doing this. But yeah, so for now, this is, uh, this is the end of it. Uh, yeah, so in conclusion, yes, 60% of the netherworld. That is a pretty indi big indication that uh, the other uh, overlords, the Im the main characters from the previous games, are have not been born yet because there is no way characters like Lahal or Zeta or uh, Zenon or or Volvatoris would actually let this go on because Void Dark managed to con. Uh, Control uh, took over uh, over sixty percent of the netherworld. These guys are powerhouses who can destroy literal worlds with a flick of a finger, and are good. Uh, are actually uh, heroic enough to not let that slide. So, pretty much, if they are uh, if they actually uh, are born here, it would make sense that uh, Void Dark managed to has managed to take over the Netherworld. Also, uh, you go to a new chapter, uh, characters automatically heal, so don't worry if you, uh, any of your characters die. It's a free heal. So, yeah. That's what I actually want to say. And that's it. Uh, we Now, the DLC shows that uh, these uh, characters actually uh, appear but they're actually considered not canon that would explain why uh Lahal, flan and etna who has been a series staple cameo characters do not appear and have been uh, relegated to dlc because this is a prequel they have not been born yet so their appearance have become non-canon there are more proofs down along the road uh i would actually explain later uh when it actually pop up but until then Thanks, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button if you like this episode. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. The next episode, we're actually going to explain what the industry shops are and the skill shop. And there's going to be more tutorials. So until then, see you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!